Hello there. Hey, thanks for following Dead Space on Facebook. Got a lot of cool questions and posts from people, so I'm going to take a minute and uh, just just answer some of these questions from some of the people that have been posting. Just want to say thank you for taking the time to follow Dead Space, and thanks for all the passion and interest in Dead Space too. Uh, let's see. So, Andrew Acuna uh, states, "Bring back the great visuals." There were quite a few spots in the first Dead Space where I would just stop what I was doing and look at the scenery. Well, thank you, Andrew. We took a lot of effort to make sure that the original Dead Space had really awesome looking environments, and that will remain consistent in Dead Space 2. We're, we're putting a lot of effort in making sure that the visuals measure up to what we did in the first game. So thanks for the question, or comment. George Hayduke, he states... Uh, but on a serious note, I'd like to know more about Isaac's history and the history of how the Ishimura mining operations came to be. The core mechanics, gameplay of the first Dead Space were fantastic, and I'd say only minor adjustments would be needed. George, thanks a lot. As far as more information about Isaac, well, we can't talk a lot about him right now. We've got a lot of cool stuff in the works for him. As far as the history of the Ishimura and mining operations, there was an event called the Resource Wars that occurred uh, many hundreds of years before Dead Space that uh, basically resulted in the Earth being depleted of all of its natural resources. So that's why kind of the idea of planet cracking <clears throat> started. So that's kind of where that came from. And as far as the core mechanics from the original Dead Space, thanks again for the kind words on that. The team worked really hard to make sure that those mechanics were fun. And in Dead Space 2, we're going to bring back all that cool stuff and a whole lot more. Next question. Uh, Mike Depew uh, states, Also, make the boss battles much longer and much more epic. Those are in caps. I want to be fighting for upwards of half an hour to 45 minutes on a good menacing boss. Well, Mike, that sounds pretty frickin' awesome. Uh, gonna be challenging to get a 45-minute boss done that actually is super fun. But, uh, you know, can't say that that's out of the question, but right now um, we're working on some all-new bosses for Dead Space 2, and I can guarantee you this, they're gonna be twisted, they're gonna be sick, and they're gonna measure up to everything we did in Dead Space. So thanks for that comment. Michael Prince. He states, a harpoon gun so you can keep the bad guys on the wall. Oh, and co-op play. Well, Mike, the good news is we did announce in our Game Informer article that we have a new weapon called the javelin gun. So it's not a harpoon gun, per se, but it does actually impale and stick guys to the walls, uh, kind of like you're saying uh, you'd like to see with your harpoon gun idea. So hopefully that's cool for you and you're excited about that. I'll tell you it's really fun to do, and uh, hopefully we can talk more about that in the future. As far as co-op play, it's interesting. There seems to be a big split on that concept uh, as we read message boards and Facebook and stuff. Um, you know, at this point, not really going to say much about that. Uh, thanks for the comment on it, and it's something that we could think about. Uh, Jared, or Gerard Speed, uh, he states, new enemy types, challenging bosses, new weapons, more background on the original marker and unitology possibly adding more markers which could create seemingly new creatures and the main character at least being able to say one thing. So, wow, that's a lot of stuff there, Gerard. Um, let's see, new enemies, check. Challenging bosses, check. New weapons, check. More background on the original marker and unitology? Well, that would be a spoiler if I said anything about that. Um, adding more markers? Kind of same thing. A little spoilerish. Um... But, main character talking, you mean Isaac? Absolutely, that's something that we're focusing on. We're not going to make him a chatty Cathy, we're not going to have him spewing off uh, corny one-liners or anything that like that, but he will have something to say this time, and uh, we hope uh, to talk more about that in the future. So, thanks. David Mueller, uh, he states, Isaac is an engineer. He should be able to find and combine items to create weapons. Finisher melee kill for all enemies would also be good seeing how the response from the baby kicking was, this is friggin' awesome. Wow, David. You're kind of a sick dude. You like to kick babies, huh? Well, you know what? That was pretty friggin' awesome in Dead Space, so I agree with you there. Uh, as far as Isaac being able to combine things, uh, again, we're not really getting into details on that today, but I will say this. You are correct. He is an engineer, and the idea of him being able to do that sort of stuff is totally intriguing to the team. So, uh, can't say much about it, but that's a very interesting and cool question. 
As far as the finishers, uh, going back to baby kicking, um, you're going to see more of that stuff. Don't worry, there'll be there'll be more of that in Dead Space too. Uh, let's see here. Ah, another Gerard Clark. Gerard Clark. I want to see Isaac with a personality, a face, and a voice. I'm completely enthralled with the Dead Space lore, but Isaac is the only piece that's really missing for me. Well, Mr. Clark, good news. Isaac Clark in Dead Space 2 will speak, as I said just a second ago. Again, he's not going to be this, you know, this guy just spewing off a bunch of corny one-liners. He's going to have real weight to the things that he has to say. And obviously, after dealing with Dead Space 1, it makes sense that he'd have a few things to say. So uh, check on that. You'll see some of that in Dead Space 2. All righty, last, last question for today, guys. Um, let's see. There's some good ones here. Okay, all right, let's do uh, Eddie De La Rosa's question or comment. <clears throat> uh, Eddie says, a final boss that does something else than hit the floor with its tentacles, please. Some new weapons, I like a cooperative mode, a collector's edition with an Isaac figure, and the issues would be awesome. New necromorphs, if you made the collector's edition, it would be the best if you put a real-size plasma cutter. I would pay lots of money for that. All right, Eddie, well, wow. You just got a lot in there for the last question. Um, so, final boss. We really enjoyed the final boss in Dead Space. Hopefully you did too, and you're just looking for something that's even better, which is exactly what we're trying to aim for. So, not to spoil how Dead Space 1 ended for anybody, there was an awesome freaking fight, but uh, we want to do better this time. So, we're going to definitely focus on that. Um, as far as the Collector's Edition, uh, definitely something that we've been talking about with our marketing buddies and trying to figure out what makes sense for a, a really unique and you know, compelling Collector's Edition for people like yourself that are really interested in that. As far as a life-size plasma cutter, yeah, that would be pretty badass, and uh, I think maybe we might look into things like that. Can't promise, but I certainly would love to have one, and uh, it would be pretty badass. Uh, as far as cooperative mode, I mentioned that earlier, not really talking too much about that right now, but uh, it's interesting that yet another person's asking about it, so it's definitely something we'll think about. Uh, so for now, I just wanted to say thanks a lot. I'm Steve Paputsis, the executive producer on Dead Space 2, and uh, really appre appreciate the support, the questions on Facebook. Thank you to everybody following us on Facebook and Twitter. Please continue to do so because we're going to continue to interact with you guys, answer some questions. I'm doing some little kooky videos of the team from uh, time to time throughout the day. And we really want to stay engaged with you, with you guys because without you guys uh, asking questions and supporting the game, uh, it makes it difficult for us to know what you want. So please communicate what you're interested in. Uh, the team's very excited about the passion and interest everybody has in, the, in our game. And thank you very much and talk to you soon.